I've been a doctor now nearly 50 years, which is, as far as I'm concerned, most of my lifetime. I've seen enormous changes in medicine, in the treatments available for complicated diseases, for which we are, of course, all grateful. But the more mature I get in medicine, the more I realize we are bringing on ourselves a lot of our illnesses through unhealthy lifestyles. During the time of the Prophet, people had to walk a lot. They thought nothing of walking 10 miles or um, working on the farms for long periods of time. And I understand that they were mainly thin. The current culture that we live in is a culture which doesn't encourage people and doesn't allow people to take exercise as part of their daily life because everything can be done mechanically. So now exercise is something we add on as an extra and people don't have time for it. And within our lifestyles we get stressed. How do we calm ourselves? We eat too much and get mellow. Oh, it's lovely. But then inevitably we gain weight. In Islam, we are taught balance. You're not to eat fast. You're to get up from the table with a feeling you haven't had quite enough. There was a sense always of containment and modesty and moderation. Islam is the middle path. Do not go to extremes, either of greed or of starvation. In the time of the Prophet, travelers to Arab countries were surprised, the Orientalists were surprised that when you go into an immense crowd of people who've been traveling and they're busy and everything, how fragrant everyone was. Unlike European countries where you could smell open sewers and the, they use perfume to conceal odors, that the Arab peoples washed five times a day and they were clean, their clothes were clean, their hands were clean and this was a big surprise to the Europeans. It was quite unknown to them in their own personal hygiene. In the time of the Prophet it was necessary to teach indiv each individual how important they were, not just part of a tribe, but they are uniquely special to Allah. And everything about them must be respected as a vessel of Allah's creation. Within that matrix came an understanding that your body and your health is a great great gift.